You must have faced issues with your Zampi before, right? Like when MySQL refuses to start, just like this. Okay, let me show you the solution. First, open your File Explorer and go to the C drive. Then, open the Zampi folder, followed by the MySQL folder. Next, copy the folder named Data and rename it to Data Old. After that, open the Data folder. This folder contains your MySQL databases. Now what we need to do here is delete some folders, such as Performance Schema, phpMyAdmin, Test, and MySQL. Then select all the files in the folder, but make an exception for the file named ibdata1. Do not delete this file. Delete the selected files, and then go back to the MySQL folder. Navigate to the Backup folder. Here, we will copy four folders. These are the same folders we deleted earlier. Oh, and I almost forgot. Copy the files in the backup folder, except for the ibdata1 file. Finally, paste them into the data folder. OK, we've completed the process. Now it's time to test whether this solution works. Go back to Zamp P and press Start on MySQL. See, the problem is solved. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.